Keep it simple. Creatine monohydrate, three to five grams. If you're under 200 pounds, over 200 pounds, just 10 grams. So what's going on, you guys? It's Navoy Vincent, repping Navoy Vincent Fitness, and I'm back again today. And if you are new here, my name, as you heard earlier, is Navoy Vincent, and I'm an online personal trainer, and I'm a diet coach, and most importantly, I like to make these different videos to debunk or give you my view on certain topics in the world. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment, but make sure to check out NavoyVincentFitness.com if you're looking for somebody to coach you through your fitness needs. Now, in this little new series, we're gonna call this the supplements that actually work. Now guys, I've been working out for a very long time, and the one thing that I've been able to do is experiment with different supplements, specifically the, you know, the more natural stuff, where it won't go into the PED side of things. But for the most part, there's certain supplements, there's not enough scientific research out there. Me personally, I've tried it myself, and in this series, I'll break down the ones that I've used and that work. And the number one is most importantly, it's creatine. Guys, creatine is very well researched. It's perfectly natural for all you. I wanna keep my natty hard, you know, you guys. It, but, but most importantly, it's not that expensive, in re relatively speaking. Like I remember when I worked, first started working out around 2000, I wanna say 2012 was when I first started working out, 2013. Guys, creatine was actually really cheap, man. Like you could get like almost a kilo of creatine for like maybe $15. Now it's a little bit more expensive due to the supply chain issues. But creatine, when I first started working out, was literally dirt cheap. Now, the science behind creatine is, is basically by taking this supplement, what you're gonna be able to do is you're gonna pull water into your muscles and by having this excess water, what you're gonna be able to do is two different things. You're gonna have a bit more body mass, so what you're gonna be able to do with this body mass, you're gonna be able to lift a little, bit more weight. You're gonna be a little stronger in the gym. Let's say you would normally shoulder press 45 pounds on each hand, right? Each dumbbell, you have 45 pounds. Maybe you might be able to jump up to 50 a bit easier, or maybe that 45 you do for eight reps now you can do for 12 to 15 it's like a little boost but that boost really does help you when you're natural for you natural guys out there and another thing is it does help you stay you look a bit more full so for you guys out there you know with the appearance you're gonna look a bit more full when you're in the gym yeah you might carry a little water but it's very non-sequential it's nothing man like creatine is well tested it's safe worst case scenario if you're one of the genetic outliers there are studies that do show could lead to hair loss but i mean come on man i'm over here i ain't got no hair and i haven't cared since you know I, it's, it ain't, it's just hair guys you plus you ain't got to go to the barber shop and hear them crazy ass conspiracies you know? but what's most importantly is the dosage now the way you would dose creatine to keep it very simple guys you do about three grams what you can do you can load i personally don't believe in the whole loading thing i kind of think that's a little supplement industry uh manipulation so to say a little bit of trickery it's creatine like i said before is dirt cheap so that's kind of a way for them to get you to use this use it quicker but creatine is all based on body weight. So if you're a beginner and you're in the gym, you bought a buck 50, you know, 150 real skinny dude. What I would suggest is you take about three grams every day after you're done working out and, you know, just kind of keep it at that dosage. But if you're kind of a bigger guy like me, I weigh right now, I'm about 200 pounds. What I would suggest is you take up to 10 grams. So between, if you're under the 200 pound, place i would say between three to five grams that's all you really need but if you're kind of bigger you would need about 10 grams and like i said before guys dirt cheap it works it's safe it's healthy it's natty for you guys that i want to keep my natty card it's, it's creatine mono, monohydrate it's the cheapest version it's the most well researched version anything else kind of just cap they'll sell you still try and sell you some hydrolyzed or whatever that's, that's nonsense that's just a way for them to finesse a little bit more paper out of you Keep it simple, creatine monohydrate, three to five grams. If you're under 200 pounds, over 200 pounds, just 10 grams. So yeah, like I said before, as usual, like we usually say here, control the negative, make sure to focus on the positives, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I can't wait to do more of these videos because there's a lot of supplements that people don't even really know about that do work, and they're natty for you. I don't want to keep my natural guard, guys. So yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment. It's your boy, Navoy. I'm out.